the first time I made a rug, this is how it turned out. We've moved beyond it. Let's get started. It's Romeo Wednesday. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. And thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be making an outdoor mat. I am wearing my boo sheet shirt that I made the last time I used my Romeo. We are going to go step by step. I think this way that I'm doing it in this tutorial is the easiest way. I have tried making outdoor mats three different ways. And of all the ways I've tried, the way that I'm going to show you today is the absolute easiest. Now, let's look at the materials and then we'll jump right into Leonardo Design Studio. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The materials I use for this project include my Caesar Romeo. I use black Flex Seal Spray. I used two different types of adhesive vinyl. One was Starcraft and the other was, I call it Oracle. Some people call it Oracle. Call it whatever works best for you. I used frog tape. I used the thicker one. I used a pair of scissors, some Glad press and seal. I also, believe it or not, I ended up using a 24 by 24 Cricut Venture mat. So this mat was created to be used with the Cricut Venture, but it fits perfectly inside Caesar Romeo and it came in handy. I'm so glad I had this mat. And the rug that I, I'm using, I purchased it from Ikea and the size of it is 16 by 24. Okay, so now without further ado, let's go into Leonardo Design Studio. The first thing I did was go to the Creative Fabrica website and I did a search for welcome mats. I downloaded this bundle right here because I like this first design that says welcome unless you're selling something. I think that one is really nice. And I also downloaded this bundle right here that just says uh, welcome mat bundle eight designs and it has welcome to our home. So. I'm going to make a decision out of those. I might even make both. I haven't decided yet. I am in Leonardo Design Studio Pro. The first thing I'm going to do is go right here to Artboard and Cutting Mat. I'm going to change the media width to 24 inches. And I'm going to change the media height also to 24 inches just to give me enough space to work with with my design the next thing i'm going to do is go down here to this menu and grab a square and i'm going to resize it to the same size as the mat that i'm using remember the mat that i'm using is 16 by 24 and i'm going to go down here to my options in the properties box and i'm going to unlock this and I'm going to change the width to 24 and I'm going to change the height to 16. Okay. And even though this is black, it'll still serve as the template. If I wanted to change the color, I could just go right here and kind of change it to like a brown. I could make it lighter if I wanted to, but let's just go with this color right here. And now what I'm going to do is upload or insert the file that I just downloaded from Creative Fabrica. And I want this one that says, welcome, unless you're selling something. And I am going to insert it or import it as editable artwork. I'm going to click apply. When the file comes in, it comes in much bigger than what I need it to be. And it's okay because I'm going to resize it. And 
I want the welcome to be big just like that. I think I like that size. But what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to ungroup this. And now I have this part of the file separate, which is what I want, because I want this to be taller and I want this to stretch all the way across the mat. Okay, I like it just like that. All right, and I think I think this looks great. All right, and I think it's in the center. Let me just double check to make sure. Uh, let's see. Arrange, align objects. I can click. Okay, it's in the center now. All right, and I think that looks great. Now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to paths and I'm just gonna to go to weld so it can just stay together. And for this part, now I can see that the E-L-C-O-M-E -E is separate from the W and I want all of that to be together. So I'm going to select that. I'll just use my shift key. I'll select the W and I'll hold my shift key. Then I'll select the rest of the word, right click on that and I will go to weld. And now once I click send design is going to give me um, the option to get all of this cut together. And even though I'm only using the black flex seal, I don't want this to be cut together. I want the word welcome to be cut on one mat and I want, unless you're selling something to be cut on a different mat. So I'm gonna just change the color of this just so I can be prompted to use a different mat. So I'll just change it to red, of course, and I'll click apply and I'll click send design. Okay, and it says send artwork options, all artwork that fits on the page, move each color layer to origin. I'm going to click send. OK, and so let's just see what my size is. The size of the word welcome is twenty one point six sixty seven in width and the height is eleven point seven. And then this part right here is twenty three inches in width and it has a height of one point nine, one point nine, one point nine. Do I want this taller? I think I like it. I think I like it just like this. I'm going to click send design and I'm going to click send again. And everything I'll do from here will be back on the camera. Remember, I'm not going to need to mirror this because I'm using adhesive vinyl. And so I will get this uh, cut out, but I'll show you all of that once I get back to the camera. Okay, the first piece of vinyl that I'm using is this StarCraft permanent adhesive. And I'm going to insert it in the Romeo in this direction. Okay, so I'm going to open this lever, get the vinyl placed inside like this. And I'm going to make sure that it is positioned well enough to cut all the way. I'm going to close the lever. I'm actually going to bring this over here okay so it's all going to hold the vinyl in place properly all right and i'm going to do an area test before i cut okay so that let me know that my image is too long for this vinyl so my vinyl is not long enough so what i'm going to do is double check the size of this oh my vinyl is on 21 inches i need 24 inches of vinyl let's send an, send another area test and see but I think that's it. That'll do it, 24 inches. So I am going to send this to the cutter.
I think that's pretty amazing. <laughs> I think it's pretty amazing. All right, I have to break out the Big Daddy. I'm gonna have to use this big Cricut mat with this vinyl because it's not grasping it good enough. So we're going to use, this mat is one of the mats that's intended for the Cricut Venture. So I'm going to get this one inserted and try it again. Reason number two million why I love Caesar Romeo is because you are not limited to just using Caesar products. You can use whatever will work. Another reason to love Romeo. I have the word welcome and I struggle to remove it from that mat because the mat is a strong grip mat, but we're going to do the best we can. And this vinyl is, I call it Oracal. I might be saying it wrong. I call it Oracal 651. Some people call it Oracle. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but I'm going to call it Oracal. And with this, vinyl i'm going to be using this as a stencil so the parts that i would normally keep are the parts that i will need to weed away so i'm very impressed that my romeo cut this big design and i know it's going to look fantastic on my outdoor mat The first part, you see I left the inner parts of the E and the O and the E. So when you weed yours, make sure you leave those in. Now I need to weed the other part. I'm gonna cut that. So now I'm going to weed this the same way. I'm doing what's called reverse weeding. other part you see I left the inside of the O right there the inside of the R the inside of this O and that's it so all of the rest of this will need to be transferred to the mat as a stencil okay I have the glad press and seal and what I'm going to do is going to move this part first so I'm going to grab a big enough piece to transfer this okay I think that's big enough so you can see it okay and I'm going to place this face down on the sticky side just like that okay so I have a whole thing covered and I'm actually going to cut cut this now this first part should be fairly easy I know my head is cut off a little bit this first part should be fairly easy because what I'm doing is just moving the vinyl from the backing to the press and seal but I want you to be able to see see it <clears throat> So my suggestion is to pull it back at an angle. Hopefully you can see that I'm at an angle. This part does take some time. So be patient with yourself. And just remember, the more intricate your design, the harder this part will be. 
part may seem a little bit tedious, but it's actually the easiest way I found to do this. So just peel back at an angle and make sure that all of the vinyl is removed from the backing and that everything, even those small intricate pieces are left on top of the pressing seal. Everything is on this glad prison seal. See that? All of the inner parts. Now, what I need to do is get this placed on top of here where I want it. And I think I just want it at the bottom, just straight across the bottom. I think that'll look perfect. Call it a rug. You call it a mat. You call it both, it doesn't matter. Now I have to remove the, the pressing seal. So essentially the pressing seal is taking the place of transfer tape because trying to use transfer tape is awful. Trust me, I've tried it. It is hard to move the vinyl with transfer tape because transfer tape, it's hard to get the vinyl off the transfer tape and get the vinyl onto the rug or the mat or whatever you want to call it. Take your time with this part and make sure that if any of the vinyl tries to come back up, that you just quickly press it back down. I don't have any vinyl left on here and I can reuse this if I want to. Now I'm going to get this tape down with the frog tape. Now I'm going to repeat the same process with the welcome. I'm going to get a big enough piece of press and seal to cover the whole part of the orange vinyl. I'm placing the flex seal on my table with the sticky side facing up. Hopefully you can see that the sticky side is up. There was a piece just stuck to my arm. And then I'm going to just press it down and make sure that it is completely adhered to the pressing seal. And I'm going to carefully pull the vinyl away from the pressing seal, leaving just the backing with nothing on it. Also take your time right here, be very careful and make sure that you have all of those small inner pieces. When it was time to place the welcome on top of the mat, I realized the W was very long and I just had to cut a little piece away from the brown vinyl, which was fine. I was able to get the welcome placed on and once you do this part, make sure the vinyl is pressed down and there are no gaps or holes. Make sure the vinyl is flat on the rug. Now it's time to peel the press and seal away from the vinyl. Make sure the vinyl is flat. Make sure you still have all of the little pieces. brought out my heat gun and I used it on low heat just to flatten and melt the vinyl a little bit, but I would definitely say be careful about this.
I'm going to shake this up. Shake it up, shake it up. I actually sprayed it while I was in my craft room. I would definitely say put on protective gear and make sure the that you're not spraying close to your face, no matter even if you're wearing a mask. And I just sprayed two light coats. immediately remove the vinyl as soon as you're finished spraying the two coats and have somewhere to place the sprayed vinyl have a plastic bag or some plastic close by so you can quickly discard it and you don't make a mess So this is the finished mat. And what am I going to say? I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. And Peter loves it too. He said, put it at the door now. He loved it because we do get a lot of people coming to our door trying to sell stuff to us. And we don't like that. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching.